Hey everyone! Um, last week I didn't have a tutorial because I was working on this big project that you see right here. Um, I don't really have a tutorial for it, but I do have a slideshow. I took photos uh, of all the steps along the way. So um, yeah, this video will just be like showing you the photos and explaining how I did each step. So let's start! To make the tree shape, I rolled two different rolls of newspaper and I taped them together with some duct tape and then I coated the outside with some tin foil and sort of taped all the edges together. Then I coated the outside with a really thin layer of clay in the tree color and baked it. Right now it does not look very pretty, <laughs> does it? <laughs> After that I took the same color of clay and mixed it with some liquid clay to make it softer and I added it like a paste to the outside of the tree and I used that tool that you see on the screen to add the texture. That is the step that took the longest out of the entire project. The top of the trunk was exposed so I used a ball tool and just created that little swirl on the top just as an extra detail. And then after that, I baked it in the oven for about 10 minutes, just to harden it a little bit. Then I used a color mixing guide to hand mix the colors. I used foil to shape the birds' bodies underneath because I didn't want to use a big chunk of clay because um, that would take forever to bake and it would be heavy for the tree. And um, I don't know if you can tell, but there's like two spaces in the face to add the eyes later. Then I put a little bit of clay where the eye should go underneath the little beads that I pressed in. That way it has something to stick to. And then I coated the outside of the head with more clay and I used a teardrop shaped cu cookie cutter to cut the little feathers and then I added texture. Um, there's a link in the description box for a tutorial that I found for making owls and that's what I use for the feather technique. So you can check it out there. Next, I made little beaks by making like a little triangle of clay and then I used a dotting tool that was kind of small to add the little nostrils so the little owls can breathe. <laughs> I baked the little beaks and then I added them to the owl with some liquid clay just to help glue it down. Then I added some texture just using a needle tool scratching the surface and um, a little extra clay around the eyeballs to give them like an eyelid and some little small feathers around the neck. To make the guitars, first I made the necks and baked them, and then I added them to the base of the guitar with some liquid clay, and then I baked them again. Next, I took some liquid clay again and glued the guitar down to the bird's um, chest, then I baked the whole thing. After that, I made the wings and used liquid clay to glue the wing to the shoulder and to the front of the guitar, and then baked the whole thing again. After that, I took some liquid clay and I glued the birds down to the branch and baked the whole thing one last time. Last step, I put the entire thing in a little shadow box frame and I added a little sparkly background and a little felt moon and that's pretty much all I did. If you'd like a real tutorial on any of these steps, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. Bye!